Hi, I'm Ron from Dirt Bike. We're here in Union, South Carolina, which is the home of the Ampro Yamaha race team, Randy Hawkins' personal testing ground for his, uh, for his riders. Right now, we're here to test the YZ250FX and the YZ250X, the two-stroke and four-stroke versions of Yamaha's 250 off-road bikes. A few years ago, Yamaha introduced the FX and the X about the same year. It was the first real serious effort for a Japanese company to get involved with the off-road racing market. These bikes were made for GNCC racing, cross-country racing, things like that. They're very similar to the motocross bikes. They have some key differences. Transmissions, wide ratio five-speed on the two-stroke, wide ratio six-speed on the four-stroke, and kickstands, 18-inch rear wheels, different power delivery for the two bikes, and overall they've been a big hit, particularly in the eastern parts of the U.S. West. This gives us a great opportunity to ride these bikes back to back, do a little two stroke versus four stroke in the woods of South Carolina. We can't wait to do it. So fast forward a couple of days now, we've had a lot of riding time here at Randy Hawkins place. When we first got here, it was drizzling a little bit, and uh, I'll tell you, this, this red southern clay, it doesn't take much to turn it into super grease. Well, like magic, as soon as it stops raining, it tacks up, and traction's actually excellent. So that gave us a lot of different conditions to try the 252 stroke and the 254 stroke. <laughs> Now first things first, obviously the two-stroke, big advantage in power. In fact, it's so much power, it's actually a little bit of a handful when it's slippery. As soon as it tacks up, you can't do much better. Four-stroke, on the other hand, it always hooks up. Even in the sl most slippery conditions, four-stroke seems to find traction here and there. There's also big advantage in weight for the two-stroke, maybe 20 pounds. We'll know better when we get them both on the scale back at, uh, at our headquarters put them and find out exactly how much they weigh. If you told me it was 20 pounds, I'd, you know, it'd certainly be justified by the way they feel. Now, having said that, the four-stroke actually handles pretty well. I mean, I would have to give the handling edge overall to the four-stroke, despite the weight. Not only in traction, but in suspension, it seems to have an advantage. It's kind of strange because they have basically the same suspension components. Then there's the electric start. I know it sounds a little petty to say like, oh, I'd rather press a button than pull out an old fashioned Kickstarter, but there's so many situations where that can make a big difference. Sometimes you're on the side of a hill, all kinds of conditions out here at Randy's place where we got into cross ruts and things like that, stall the motor, two stroke, you kind of got to go back to the bottom, start over. Four stroke, you can grind up from wherever you, where you stall it or anything. In the end though, I got to say, for this situation here, most 
the riders like the two-stroke better. Now, that isn't to say that the two-stroke's a better racer. It's probably not. When it comes down to racing conditions, I think the four-stroke probably has a little advantage. Across a broader range of conditions, it probably does a little bit better. And we know from just watching the XC2 class in GNCC racing, most riders have migrated towards four strokes over the years. For play riding, fun riding, it's hard to beat a two stroke. So is this battle over? Now, the debate between two strokes and four strokes is gonna go on. For here, for these conditions, for South Carolina, the way we came out here, fresh off the boat, two strokes hard to beat. Oh, mm -hmm.